Hello everyone. So today we will be doing a very beautiful problem. We have this equation x to the power 6 minus 10 x to the power 5 plus ax to the power 4 bx cube cx square dx plus 16 is equal to 0. This is an equation, it's a very large 6 degree polynomial equation that we have. And there are a couple of information given to us. Number one, that all roots are positive integers. And the second thing that we know is, well, this one is coming from the Vietas formula, which we will learn today. We know some things about the sum of roots and the product of roots. So we will talk about this one. This is our learning objective for this particular video. We will learn how to use Vieta's formula in the context of this particular problem. And this problem is from AMC 10A 2021, problem number 514. So what is our goal? What do we want to find out? Our goal is find the value of B. Find the value of B. What is B? Vieta's formula. It's very simple but beautiful. Suppose we have a complex coefficient quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c. We, what, do, what, is, what does that mean? That means that a, b, c are complex numbers. Remember, complex numbers, uh, real numbers are also complex numbers. So, a, B, C could be real numbers, could be integers, could be fractions, whatever. And suppose R1 and R2 are the roots of this particular quadratic equation. So what that means is, uh, sorry, yeah, what that means is that if you plug in R1 in this equation, it indeed becomes zero. This expression becomes zero. So for example, x square minus 2x plus 1 if you plug in x equals to 1, then that becomes 0. 1 square minus 2 times 1 plus 1 is 0. So we say that 1 is a root of this particular equation. 1 is a root of this particular equation. Okay. All right. So now let's look at this a little bit more carefully. This means if, if I cancel out the a or divide by a on both sides, we have x square plus b by a x plus c by a equals to 0. Notice that I just divided by a, so I did not change the roots in any way. If I plug in r1, it will still become 0. So this means that this particular expression is equals to x minus r1 times x minus r2. Because if I plug in r1 here, x minus r1 will become 0, so this product becomes 0. If I plug in r1, r2 here, then x minus r2 becomes 0, so this product becomes 0. So these two expressions must be equivalent. So what I can say is x square plus b by a x plus c by a is equals to x minus r1 x minus r2. So Actually, this is a very simple but well-known strategy. You compare the coefficients and check what's going on. So b by a x plus c by a is equals to x square minus r1 plus r2 x plus r1 r2. So positive r1 r2 must be equal to c by a and r1 negative r1 plus r2 must be equals to b by a. That is the Vieta's formula. So sum of roots R1 plus R2 is equals to negative B by A 
and R1, R2 is equals to C by A. We found it by using the strategy of compare the coefficients. Compare coefficients. So this particular strategy is very useful and it is used over and over again in different sorts of problems. So now that we understand the Vietas formula, let me tell you that the Vietas formula works even for other type of problems, other type of Vietas formula also works for larger degree polynomials. For example, if you have ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0, then you can easily say that if r1, r2, r3 are the three roots of it, then r1 plus r2 plus r3 is equals to negative b by a. Then you take two at a time, r1, r2, r2, r3, r3, r1. This is equal to c by a and r1, r2, r3 is equals to negative d by a. So this is the Vieta's formula for cubic equations. You can do this for sixth degree polynomials as well. So um, you can give it a try for that. I just tell you one fact that these expressions, they are known as elementary symmetric polynomials. And we study them a lot in the Chinta Math Olympiad program. Uh, you can check the link in the description for that. So these are very important. Elementary symmetric polynomials are quite important and they are used over and over again in creating problems which are quite beautiful. Okay, so now that we understand this Vieta's formula, you can prove the cubic part of the fourth degree polynomial in the same manner. The Vieta's formula for fourth degree, fifth degree, and the nth degree polynomial in exactly the same way. You compare the coefficients and see what's going on. Okay, so now that we understand this, let's get back to the problem. It says that x to the power 6, or maybe I can change the color, x to the power 6 minus 10x to the power 5 plus ax cube, x to the power 4, bx cube, cx square, dx plus 16 equal to 0. All roots are positive integers. Are positive integers. Okay, so let's use Vieta's formula here. We know that minus of minus 10 by 1, a is 1 here, right? So minus of minus 10 by 1 is the sum of roots r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 plus r6. If these are the six roots, then the sum of roots is this. And the product of roots R1 times R2 times R3 times R4 plus times R5 times R6 is equal to 16 by 1. Okay, so how can product of 6 positive integers be 16? All of these roots are positive integers, positive integers, that's the key thing. So how can that become 16? Okay, the only way it can be 16 is if we have... 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1. Notice that this one actually works in the other case as well. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is indeed 10. So it works out. So these six numbers must be the six roots of this particular polynomial. So we know what this polynomial is exactly. We know the polynomial is x minus 2 raised to the power 4 because this is occurring four times so you can write x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 which is x minus 2 raised to the power 4 times x minus 1 raised to the power 2 so this polynomial right here must be this one x minus 2 raised to the power 4 times x minus 1 whole square why don't you multiply this out and try to find out the coefficient of x cube because that's what you are required to find out the coefficient of x cube which is b you don't really have to multiply it entirely 
you can just look for the coefficient of x cube if you know how to do it in a clever way find out the value of b and put it in the comment in the description and i'll see if it's right or not try more problems in the from the link in the description there are more beautiful problems coming up at chinta i'll see you in the next video